got the Gashagwa to come and <laughs> to just address us from the podium. To begin a coffee to Fadali. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the President. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoa Ruto. Your Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, Mama Rachel Ruto. The First Family, and all of us who are here today, God is good. And all the time. Do I have anything to say? <laughs> Your Excellency, today is a great day for this country. It marks the beginning of the economic transformation of the Republic of Kenya. We are here not to say that we have achieved this victory, but to say that this victory was the work of God. Amen. The rocks that were put in our path could not be lifted by a human being. It is all the work of God. And I must say that we have seen the heart of God all through for the last four and a half years. It's been a long and a tedious journey. Again is all the odds. Again is serious mobilization and weaponization of the state machinery. Today, the son of an ordinary Kenyan whose father and mother are not known is the President of the Republic of Kenya. We thank God. I remember last year, we attended a church function at 7 a.m. somewhere in Keno. And there was an evangelist from Nigeria, and he tried to explain to us why our outgoing leader had abandoned William Ruto. And he told us not to worry. It was all God's doing. So that when he becomes president, no man can say he made you king. <laughs> Therefore, we give glory to God and we thank the people of Kenya for what they have done for their country. This is a great country and Kenya has no problem. The problem of Kenya is one of leadership. Once you put the right leadership into place, this is a beautiful country with a very resourceful and hardworking people. All you need is to create the right environment for the people of Kenya to prevail. And I have no doubt, agreeing with the rest of Kenyans, that the men we have put into office, Dr. William Ruto, is up to the task. So, Your Excellency, mine is with a lot of humility to assure you that myself and the team under you we shall give you the necessary support so that you can pretend over the transformation of this beautiful country we shall work day and night but i must admit that though we may not be able to be as hard working to be as zealous to be as passionate as you are we'll give it our best shot <laughs> And I want to urge all our colleagues in this struggle, those who have been persecuted, those who have woods, please let this victory heal all our woods. Yes. And let us get to work. Yes. We have work to do. We are inheriting a dilapidated country with a 10 trillion public debt. We are inheriting a country with 6 million young people who have no jobs. We are inheriting a country with 14 million Kenyans in CRB, we have work to do. And let nobody cheat you that it is easy. We have to work from day one. So let bygones be bygones, and let all those who are against us, we invite them to join us, we build this country together. We have nothing against anybody, because we are Kenyans and we are good people, and all we want is the economic transformation of our beautiful country. Before.
I invite our president. Let me take this opportunity, Your Excellency, if you may allow me, give a word of assurance to the public service. We are aware that your morale is low. We are aware you feel demeaned. We are aware you have become non-productive because of what you have been taken through. I want to assure you on behalf of my boss that our first job is to restore the dignity of the public service. Our first job is to cushion civil servants from harassment by officers in the police force under the guise of fighting corruption. Our work is to protect the civil servants from extortion. Our work is to make sure that we get a working public service to assist us in the management of the affairs of this country. And I have no doubt in my mind that if all of us support Dr. William Ruto and his team in a year's time, he will restore Kenya to where President Mwai Kibaki left us. It is now I'm the most privileged person to invite a brand new president. So join me in inviting the president of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, to come and say something. Thank you. Oh, yes. <coughs>